we found this place. It's a tiki bar on the beach. And everything that we read, it was really hard to get to. So we're fixing to go see if we can find it and tell you if it's worth the trouble. yesterday he found this he saw this tiki bar on the beach and it looked really cool and we kind of looked and everything that we saw it either has really good reviews or really bad reviews the good reviews is all about the food the location and the bad reviews is it's too hard to get there and most of the people quit trying so we are gonna try and we're gonna tell you the best way to do it and see is it worth the trouble it's called Coco's on, on the Beach here in Hilton Head. So let's go check it out together. Supposedly a few ways to get to this place is one, you can walk off the beach. We had went to Burke's Beach, which is right there by it, but we wouldn't be able to walk there because there's like a river running out into the ocean and you would have to cross that to get onto their correct beach. Then there was another way that we had looked at walking from the Robert Trent Jones Golf course. And if you walk that way down the beach, it's two miles. Well, supposedly we can even go to this Hilton, it's Hilton Head Resort and pay $5 and get in the gate and they have parking and then you can walk down a long pier to get to it. So that's the first option that we're trying and we're hoping that one works. So we are getting kind of close to that spot. So we'll see. I'm good. How are you? Good. Are you checking in? Nope. Going to park to go down to Coco's. They said we could pay to park. And... Okay. Um, parking is actually out here and you do walk in. It's about a half a mile walk and no beach items. Okay. Still, still up for it? Oh yeah. Okay. Then I'll take $5 from you. $5 and I can't even go in the court? Yeah. Gosh. <laughs> Kill me. You get your $5 back. And then make sure when you pay your bill, give them that little coupon that gets your five dollars off. Okay, thank you. All right, thank you. This is on the bash. So did you hear that? It is five dollars to get in, but you get it back on your food or your drinks or whatever you buy there. But you have to park outside the gate. But you gotta park outside the gate and walk. They won't let you in the resort. Now we gotta figure out how to go in after we get parked. But let's get parked. But that's not as bad as we had read. All right, we're parked. I'm gonna put the walk app on so I can see how far of a walk it is, and I'll let you know. All right, this is the gate. We had to park right here. Now you have to walk either all the way around to here's the boardwalk, or you can walk all the way around to there's the boardwalk. That's the boardwalk that carries you down. This is not beach access. This is only to get to go eat. Don't feed the alligators. Okay, there he is. What the heck? What you doing, dude? You're supposed to be on top of the water, right? Not in the water. That thing swims pretty good. It does. Okay, we saw that thing at the place that we're staying, and we thought it was a snake. Then we thought it was Loch Ness. Not really, but you know, hey. And then, <laughs> then we're like, it looks like a duck, but you would think a duck or a bird would be on top of the water. No, he is swimming under the water. Crazy. If you know what he is, comment below, please. No. Do not molest the alligator. Do not molest. We're going on a nature preserve walk now. Oh, somebody's got a golf cart. <laughs> they have like a courtesy shuttle. I don't know that if we could get on that, I'm sure that we would. I mean, I wouldn't know why they would tell us that we couldn't. 
Well, I mean, I would rather walk too, but I'm just. Cause that's a long way. <laughs> We're going way over there by the beach. <laughs> Something. A little crab see him? Oh yeah. Birds. Oh, hi, you're welcome. Half mile in, you got a place you could go sit. Looks like a trail walk through there. Hey, I see the back of Coco. Boardwalk. Hours. So I got the Coco Can't Drive because I had read that that's one of the, their good drinks. And Bill got... Crab Pilsner. Crab Pilsner. They, um, they open at 10, but they only serve liquor and stuff. And at quarter till 12, she can start putting in orders. The kitchen actually doesn't open until 12, but even though it's 11.15 now, we can go ahead and order and get in line because she said when we order, she can tell us how many is in front of us. Because people go ahead and start ordering now. But oh, they they order now or they you can order now. You can order well right. She can take your order now, but she doesn't put them in until quarter till twelve. So we need to go ahead and get our name on the list because people were up there ordering food already. I wasn't there for that conversation. He left. He came over here because he was wanting to be on the golf course, which is right there. There's a guy's golf ball. Right. Uh -oh. there. All right, know what I want. Black and blue burger. Black and blue burger. We read that they have great burgers, and I can tell you, the lady worked in the bar, so sweet, super nice, great personality, which is hard to find these days. I guess I'll probably get the black and blue burger too. Oh no, I just want barbecue bacon burger. Yeah, let's go. You gonna get barbecue bacon burger? Bur barbecue bacon burger. That's it. All right. Look at this straw. I'm trying to get a straw. I'm gonna fall off of my chair. I'm not even gonna have a sip. I'm gonna have that one sip. You can sit right here on the corner. Bill's got his golf course. I have the beach. Look at that. See the ocean, ocean. I mean, I can see the ocean. I'm just not like looking at the beach. There's some dunes kind of in the way. So, also, I forgot to say, they have beach volleyball you can play here as well. Coder picked me out something different. She picked me out the same company, but a tropical lager. It's pretty good, but I like the crab lager better, but it's still pretty good. This one you can taste the fruit in. Oh, no fruit. <laughs> You're not gonna taste the fruit. Not fruit. I can taste the difference in the beer based off of the fruit, but you don't taste actual fruit and stuff, you can taste it. Anytime somebody says, oh, this is a fruity beer, no. It is not pretty beer, it is nasty beer. <laughs> nasty beer. <laughs> right. It's, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's a lager too. Oh, it tastes like beer. <laughs> it's not pretty. <laughs> it's, if you try that, you try that, you can tell the difference in taste. I don't taste any fruit, just so <laughs> you know. <laughs> no fruit. None. Except not us. We're really enjoying this place because this is so our vibe. We just like local, down, kind of... Laid back and easy. Yes. Not fancy or, you know, be proper, order, hang out, drink, talk, and watch people. Yes. And that's, this place checks all our boxes. You got a beach view. You got a bar behind you. You got a golf course that way. You can get no better than that. And it's such a weird combination. 
the fact that you have a golf course view for you and a beach view for me. <laughs> I'm happy with it. Barbecue bacon burger. So good. I need napkin. <laughs> Thank you. And Bill got it after I've done that. The black and blue. The black and blue. And then I have to bite it until it's hot. It's a thick patty. It's like a real patty. It's really good. It's really good. It is good. Fries. Yep. Some good food here. So Bill's not a beach person. I at least want to see the beach. And I figured y'all would want to. So let's walk out here. It's a little hidden gym. Nobody even knows it's back there. Also, I know we're a lot about dogs, but there is no dogs allowed. All right, we are about finished up here, but we wanted Who to- Who said we were finished up here? We're finished up here with the video. Let's uh, have a couple more. We're finished up here with the video. We really enjoyed this place, and I think you, if you're in Hilton Head, you should come check it out. Till next time, like and subscribe.